Good evening, people! How is everybody doing tonight? So, um, we are back with at least a little bit of stream. I don't know how long this one's going to take. Um, so, we are working on number three from the list, Skylander Superchargers. I haven't touched these in a while, so plugging in a portal of power and whatnot, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, I was really a fan of Skylanders for a while, and then, you know, just all that little stuff and the toys, and they all look really neat. Um, I'm just a big kid, really. Um, but, so we're going to work on getting this Skylanders achievement done. Uh, the one we're going for is... Sorry, uh, Back Where You Belong, Beat the Land of the Undead. In terms of the story-based... It's a story-based achievement, so... Um, let's filter this list a little bit easier. Ratio ascending. See where we are at. Actually, that's the next level. So this one might be a short one for that achievement. So, but we're gonna, if it goes really quick, we'll jump into something else. So we got to pick a vehicle. Um, so we're just gonna put a vehicle on there. We're gonna put a Skylander on there. Hot streak. Supercharged. So um, part of this is you want to pair um, the right, like. Um, the person with their actual vehicle. So Spitfire is paired with that race car. So we're going to get right into this though. Thanks for the hosts and all the hosts. Hello to everybody who's here. I don't know who all is here because I know I hosting always. I found this brochure about some kind of luxurious spa that they've got in the land of the undead. I wonder if we'll have time to check it out. So, we're going to get this achievement and we can be done with it and move on to the next. Yo, Mr. Coolness, how are you this evening? <laughs> Boomsticks! You sure took your time getting over here, soldier. Don't start slacking up on your training now. The land of the undead is no walk in the park. So quit your lollygagging and get to work. But just pull that lever to get started with your training. All right, time to see what you're made of. Take out all these greebles and don't hold back. Ah, pretty good. We did a uh, thief earlier today and co-stream with uh, Joe. Took about five hours, start to finish. Uh, so we're getting close to our uh, our 15. Plus, we knocked out farm together today. That's only because you're the best chance we got at getting Master E on back. Your vehicle should be all prepped for the trip to the land of the undead now. So go and find Flynn when you're ready to head out. You come back in one piece, soldier. Um, I had a, f a friend of mine had a farm on Farm Together that they had been working on. And they had reached the point where they were ready to unlock their last... Um, the uh, last expansion, and they graciously allowed me to. Um, really stunk that, you know, well, that achievement glitched on me the first time. But it happens. It's okay to be a little scared. I mean, none of us want to go to the land of the undead. Hey, I'm not scared. I just happen to really like a good meatloaf. Sheesh. 
The land of the undead must be where those transports were taking us. Are you doing a uh, crap, Mr. Coolness? Built some kind of terrible prison there. Uh oh, that means Master Eon might not be the only person in trouble. We better get moving. There's no time to waste. Are you ready, Skylander? How far are you on your uh, work on that? Oh, hello! You know, I've spoken with thousands of kings and tyrants, and do you know nice. what they all have in common? <laughs> worry. Well, worry no longer. My name is Count Moneybone, and I'm here to help. Traditional dungeons and detention centers foster anger and resentment among detainees. <laughs> but not here. Why, even the who's who of Skylands will pop in for an invigorating stay in one of our luxury Traptanium penthouse suites. <laughs> Definitely, Paul. Accommodations are quite lush. Come to We're gonna the get, uh, this should be number 13, I think. And look at things. Is that what I said it was? Perspective. And it's we actually were already on the level. Crazy, but I don't think this money bone fell is on the up and up. Yeah, this will be number 13. We can knock it out. But I feel like I'm playing this game on nightmare difficulty. This place looks nothing like the brochure. Someone should talk to this money bone fella about integrity in advertising. Maybe we can do that after we free Master Eon from that Traptanium prison, Flynn. I see where that could be a priority. Alrighty, so what's the plan? That gate looks pretty hefty. I think we'll need to track down some heavy duty explosives. Yeah, I'm following you. Let's start things off with a boom, right? Those barrels can only drop so much explosive powder, Skylander. Wait, that said it was on chapter 16. Oh, okay. So it's a lot of, it's a few chapters worth of stuff. We have to be not as advertised. Chapter 17, upside downstairs over there's Eon's escape and money back guarantee. We have to beat four levels. Okay. A little longer, but still nothing too bad. Oh, I did want to check. What did I put the difficulty at? I am playing on Nightmare, okay. So, we'll just have to be a little bit careful. Um, if I only want to use... Yeah, if I only want to... Um... Hey, thank you for the follow, Turtle Knights. Um, I have a, a collection of extra ones behind me, but I'm trying to just leave it to the Supercharger ones. So, I can do that, make my life a little bit easier maybe. Less stuff to try to manage. Some weird rotation. No, I don't want a preview of that. That's one of the things. They do a lot with um, 
advertisement. I mean, it's a big kids game, really, but so the big thing is, is like, hey, let's show you something you might not have in this generation. See if you'll buy it. Usually you had to do a, two playthroughs of playthroughs of all these games, though. Um, In a class all my own. It would be like you'd have to do. Uh, the basic, like, normal playthrough, and then that would unlock hard or nightmare difficulty. Special Agent 321 designation softpaw at your service and reporting for duty. Operation Little Lost Sheep is underway. I have spent so. months infiltrating this detention center to determine the best way to safely extract Master Eon from Money Bones' clutches. But to try to keep this to one in general. I'm trying tough, but we keep it on Nightmare. It. I have mastered the use of these perspective gates. Passing through them will change your gravitational orientation and allow you to get... Yeah, I figured that out. See, this was my worry. <clears throat> so, Spitfire's out. Unfortunately. Definitely is not speedboat. Stealth Stinger. Supercharged. Close to number twelve, though. Sorry, number 13. I talk good today. Rendezvous achieved! Glad to see you made it, Skylander! You must have a land vehicle to enter this zone. Of course I do. I'm gonna be doing this a lot, probably. Shark Tank. Supercharged. Vehicles of the tech element are stronger in this zone. Um, do you want to see more speedboat tonight? Is that why you're here? You know, you're like, must see the speedboat.
All's here. I think he's here. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry, that was that was a bad joke. Turbo slick belts. Shark teeth biters. Geode grinders. I gotta go through this portal to get over to here. Okay. Or do I? No, that's the expedient way to do it. Yeah, that's what I have to do. But first, yeah, we're gonna beat four chapters of this game to get our achievement for this game. Work, Skylander. You have infiltrated the dark and crusty underbelly of Moneybone's detention center. You'll have to stay frosty going forward. They've activated more of those dangerous security spotlights. If they spot you, blammo! Blammo. Continue to Moneybone's tower to extract Master Eon. I will rendezvous with you at the... Oh, we're already on to the next chapter. Okay. So that's already one chapter down, three to go. Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger in this zone. I mean, works for me. The quicker I get this done, the quicker we get to speedboat, right? I don't know if that's what we're gonna do tonight, but it's a it's a possibility. I've had some fun playing stuff that was non speedboat related, so We've been playing actual fun games recently. I'd 
tried escaping once, but I got motion sickness from the gravity. Is that what it should be? Is that that should be the fifteenth? an interesting theory. <laughs> Believe me, it's it's not a question of will I not do it. I mean, I've said also that one of the things I, I want to do is when we get to the end, like, um, I don't want to say that I'm going to stop going for um, Crab achievements. Like this isn't a question of only getting the fifteen hey there, to be done. You want to try a game of Skystones? It's one of the few. Your turn. Which pitcher? Oh yeah. What game? Hood sickle. Your turn. Wolfgang. Ah. Armored Chompy. Yeah. Drive ready. I, I know what you mean by that. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure you'll win the next game. Yeah, we don't have to play the Sky Stones. We can always do that kind of stuff later. Yeah, it's definitely been a while since I've... Uh, I played my 360 last when doing Band Hero with Olkash. Trying to get an achievement before the servers went down. <laughs> I have all my 360 discs in um, <clears throat> uh, binders, actually. gotten a bunch of uh, binders and CD like pages
Well, there goes that one. Stealth Stinger. Supercharged. Okay, thanks for stopping by, Dovey. Good luck with the rest of your crab as well. Treasure. So yeah, uh, on your point, Paul, yeah, I, I guess the question is, you know, do we go with Speedboat being number 15, or am I just going to say, you know, I will get back to Speedboat at some point in time. Because it's not something that I'm like... I do want to finish it. But, um... Okay, so that is not the barrel for this. Oh wait, it is able to be used here. Ah, uh, no. No, but I, I, I mean, I get the point. It's not something I disagree with, like... True. I, I must say, I'm digging the, the 15 joke. It is funny. I keep on realizing that the joke is that Speedboat is the 15th in the list. I keep forgetting that, and that's why you guys keep saying it. I think so. Yeah, Speedboat Challenge is actually number 15 on my list. <laughs> so there is like a, it there is humor to it. That barrel's not going to be able to get all the way over here. So where's the barrel I'm supposed to use? Is it one from over here? <coughs> oh, big time. Um, so far we are up to, or down to, what for Bean Dive? Uh, down to 267 for recovery from last year's dive. Which, I, I mean, like, still it's a lot, but I think only, like, a week and a half ago, we were at, like, 400 or more. So. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to reach that explosion. That's not going to reach it. So we're just going to skip it. I don't care. No biggie. Care more about finishing levels and getting to the... Thank goodness you're here, Skylander. We managed to commandeer a bunch of transport ships to get the prisoners out of here, but it was a trap. The 
guards have deployed grappler beams and pinned the transport ships. You have to help us. Well, you don't have to, but it would be great if you did. <laughs> sure, we'll help. You have to help us. Well, you don't have to, but it would be great if you did. I do have air vehicles to do so. Those guard ships have the transports locked up with grappler beams. You have to take them out, Skylander. That's not good. Not good, not good. Sunrunner. Supercharged. Okay. We might run out of airborne vehicles. Sky Slicer. Or was that Supercharged? I don't know if it's the Skylanders getting beat or the vehicle. did one set so far.
Okay, so it says the Skylander. Maybe the vehicle doesn't matter. If that's the case. Let's go to the box of stuff and we'll just cycle through them and when they get defeated, we'll put a new one on. <laughs> See the light. We'll save the good the the actual supercharger ones for later use. This is gonna take a while. Let's try to pick one that might actually have extra health. <laughs> the heat. Well, that was just as bad. This is going smooth. Shoot for the stars. Got a box of them. <laughs> We're just gonna keep on cycling through. Okay. No worries. And that is from your crab achievement, or Here just to complete the game. Ships. Make sure they get out safely. We can't escape from these grappler beams.
Oh, okay. As long as we've got another Skylander, we can keep going. We did it! We only lost probably about 10 Skylanders in that fight. said we've got quite the collection at this point. So really we'll be we'll be fine. find out where we actually need to take that. I'm currently on a game completion a day pace. It's kind of ridiculous. But part of it is, is like, Runbo, we were just about done. One of them was a... Uh... Yeah, why? What's up? something seem off. Huh. 
Ha. Spot fight. I mean, what are the f what are the ones I completed so far? Okay. Uh, your beat. Yeah, we beat Runbo, farm together. What else? Finish at least. I've been finishing at least ten games a month. Let's start there. Uh, Runbow, Explosive Jake, Windscape, and Farm together so far. You do not want to be here when the guard. You must have a land vehicle to enter this zone. But I am trying to complete and more and start less right now. Supercharged. So, that's definitely not me. And we're at a a decent comparison. We started one game this month and completed four. Let's settle up. So that is definitely not normal. Part of it is I want to have a good month for better completions matter, um, and so the, the challenge this month is for every game you complete, there, it's a dictionary challenge. So any game with a ratio above 1.2, um, every word gets unique word gets added to like a dictionary and it's got to be like at least three letters long um but then so like and there's bonus points for the more words you get in the month 
So, so far we're up to six words because all the games that I've completed have words that count and are eligible. Down you go. This is it, Skylander. Chapter 18. Eons Escape. Skylanders of the Light Element are stronger in this zone. Yeah, you had me worried, like, do I seem sick? <laughs> These drainage pipes are our ticket out of here, Skylander, but Moneybone's troops have sealed up the exit. We need someone to dive down and clear any blockage. Then we can ride the Whirlpool Funnel out to freedom. We're gonna save him because I don't want him to get... <laughs> Everything about that number now. We'll see what happens. Um... Let's finish these last two uh, levels for... Vehicles of the magic element are stronger in this zone. Fifteen a game a day. I don't know if we'll keep that during the week. We lucked out with having off Friday, pretty much. And Thursday, so. I wouldn't expect that pace this week. Term starts, getting back to normal. And especially uh, this week's uh, gems for a week. And I know not a huge deal for most people, but unfortunately, you know, now we have a reputation, I guess, to have to maintain that we're the best. Because people care about that shit. That'll be first priority for streaming most of the week, and um, fortunately, you know, that'll take a lot of effort also outside of just the stream, so. Um, because we stream as a team to do well during the Guild Wars. things that we've been trying to do is to manage how much uh, each person kind of has to do for it. So, um, 
part of that's going to be not necessarily having to have the same people like, at every stream, watching every person. There's the obstruction, Skylander. Clear that junk, and the lava will be home free. So. But it looks like I'm going to be one of the people helping out big time with those, so... If that's the case, then I kind of need Great to work, put myself Skylander. Now it's time to send my people available for that. Slide of liver. Okay, another star. Rank up. They just pack so much of a punch on Nightmare Difficulty. Couple of hits and you're gone. I don't have to play this on Nightmare, but like, I'm just trying to... Eventually I will finish this game and I'd like to save time by not having to do full, two full playthroughs. Yo, Scruff. What were you watching? As soon as you wrote the word mania, I was like, oh, I know what you're talking about.
No, it's cool. I just know you you watch it much more. Like, well, I don't watch it at all, so like, I don't know it. But as soon as you mentioned that, I was like, oh, I know what you're talking about, because I did know that tonight was, or I saw on the twitters that tonight was some important thing. Yeah, I'm curious. I was surprised when I heard that they were actually still doing stuff. Yeah, that's very interesting to have a I don't know, is can it can that sport be interesting without people? Honestly. So in other words, they didn't do it right. Yeah, that's not good. You 
must have a land vehicle to enter this zone. Crypt Crusher. Supercharged. Luxury Traptanium Penthouse Suite was originally designed for just one prized prisoner, but it can easily accommodate two Skylander. <laughs> oh, unless, of course, <laughs> you were planning on breaking the old fool out. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Actually, I don't. But Lord Chaos has other plans for him. So, ready yourself for battle, Skylander, and prepare to wallow in a footbath of epic failure. Count Moneybone. Easy so far. I control the vertical and horizontal and everything between. You are vexing me with your persistent messiness. If it doesn't burn, you won't lose. Okay, so the goal is to get back to my normal. Chaos has given him more power than ever before. Oh, if I get hit by that attack, it actually deals damage as well. Okay. That that makes sense. Shield striker. Supercharge. Okay, that was just a bad choice in general. Crypt Crusher. Dark and dangerous. Quickly, Skylander. Don't allow him to escape. We're gonna lose a lot of Skylanders in this boss fight, I think.
We got a box of them. So. <laughs> I don't even care what yes, some crap is right now. <laughs> oh boy. Time to flip the script, Skylander. Ha. You're not wrong. Reminder what happened to Spyro. Looks like it's just you, me, and my lackeys. Oh. Slice and dice. Yep. First Skylanders game came with Spyro. I mean, besides the fact that it was just a big, you know, excuse to make people buy crap, I didn't think. I don't think these games are terrible. I, I, I've enjoyed my time with them, but they definitely went. You know, they. This is from the school of. Um. Sorry. That was the achievement I needed. So, but like this is from the Activision School of <laughs> um, you know this was from the Activision School of just overkill um, you know it was an annual release series that just got played out too quick and they you know I didn't do that. The game seriously crashed on me? Wow. I wonder how far it's going to put me back. I, I just have to know.
curiosity is the better of me here. Okay, so it at least captured the fact that I had finished that. And that also shows as unlocked. So now it just needs to scan in. Great. Oh, man. That would have been bad. That's... Let's exit this game. And while we wait, what we're going to do is we're just going to put all these Skylanders back where they were. Because <laughs> we're done playing this game for a while. Eventually I'll go back and finish. Yeah, the way it works with the uh, the stuff is if a character dies, dies, um, then you have to use a different one for the rest of the level. Until the next level when you can switch to a different one. Or like you can use them again. So... The higher difficulty modes, what they're really doing is telling you, please buy more of them. You know, poor little Jimmy can't beat the game, but if you give him 50 of these things, he might be able to win. And like as a game, it's it's decent. I th I think some of it, you know, especially the extreme difficulties, are poorly balanced. <laughs> well, and that's the thing is like part of it is you know they can get stronger and all that fun shit, but um. Um, there is a max to it, and like, like that airborne level, like that was just pure bad design there. Like, I think, I mean, the boss, the same thing. Like, most of the the ones I lost were in those two sections. I didn't lose much else anywhere. So. Um, yeah, Amiibos were okay. Um, I never got into Amiibos. This was the one I got into. Um, I also got some enjoyment out of the LEGO Dimension stuff, but more as a LEGO fan than as a fan of the games. Like, I have the set, a lot of the sets, and I just haven't played a lot of them. Sorry, the nail's been bothering me.
For the most part, it was. And that's kind of what made it good, was like... You know, the the game port... The game th figure or the game, like, platform was like a real Lego that you built. And so were the sets. Um, my only gripe with Disney Infinity, um, that Skylander started to get right, like, I didn't really show the vehicles, but, like, the vehicles feel like actual toys. Um, and so, like, the cars have wheels, the one helicopter has a propeller that spins, um, so, like, in many ways, they felt like more of a toy you could play with. Yeah. I mean, unless you know the, the Skylanders, they're not something you'd be like, oh yeah, I know that one. But, okay. Scanned in. Okay, so let's go on to the Crab Journey sheet. We've now got 13. And that was number 3 that we're striking. List. Bang. Okay, so 13 down, two left for the requirement. Well, that's the thing, like, you can't see from where it is. Let's see if it is actually a bit more visible. So you can see right here. So there's the Charmander... Um, Funko. The Funko's for the three starters. But then there is a Charizard of like a... It's not Lego. It's like the off-brand Lego. And then also a Blastoise. I still have a Venusaur to build. So. I've always loved playing with Legos. That's always been my toy. I was never into like a Rector set. I like the Connects. And Lego. Those were my favorite. Okay, so we need two more at least. The joke, the meme, is now that number 15 should be number 15. Oh, of course it was. I remember building like a, gl a Wolverine glove for my hand out of Connects. I was like, oh my gosh, we gotta do this. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I didn't go that there, so, um, true, Harry Potter was a little bit after my time with Connects. Okay, so we got 13 down, let's see, what can we do next? Rise of the Tomb Raider, that's complete the game. Dead Rising 4, shouldn't take too long. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Joe said she'd help if I wanted to do that one. Bioshock Infinite we installed, so we could do that. Lego Movie 2, Reagan Gorbachev, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Speedboat Challenge, Claws of Fury, Furry, Middle Earth Shadow of War, Near Alt. Amada, Become as God's Edition, Into the Belly of the Beast, Banner Saga 2, Invisible, Borderlands 2, Halo Master Chief Collection, and Zombie Army Trilogy. Zombie Army Trilogy is probably a no. Um, I looked at it and it was just a bit... No. Let's see, we can remove Skylanders, we can remove Shantae from this group. Thief from the group. How long have we been streaming? Hour and a half. Hmm. That was quicker than I thought it was going to be. I'm glad it was, because Nightmare Difficulty is terrible. Okay, give the people what they want. We're not going to get the achievement tonight, so... Number 15... The worst game known to man. Uh, 
That brought time back. We'll try not to crash, but no guarantees. I don't know who's still here or not here, but if you've not seen this game, this is Speedboat Challenge. <laughs> you are not wrong. This is Speedboat Challenge. Um, what I have to do is reach level 8 of the qualifying races. We are currently on level 6. Each qualifying level is broken into 5 races. Um, you only pass a qualifying race if you come in first, if you come in any other place. If you come in second or third, you get some money, but you don't actually move on. So I have to beat the first race of level 8 for my crab achievement now. The thing is, is that this game is terrible. Um, it is by far one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. Um, it was a mistake, and but we are so far invested into finishing this game at this point that I. I don't think there's really a chance for me to escape it. Um, it's just like a scenario where I'm like, okay, we've started, we're gonna have to finish. Um, so why is this game bad? Um, let's start with the opposite, what makes this game tolerable at all? And there's very little. Um, so first of all, if you have, if, if, as Ross pointed out by the music, yeah, there's not much of it to speak of. It's just the same stuff that loops over and over, and it's terrible, terrible music. Um, we haven't had any cataclysmic crashing yet, but um, the game also is very difficult to control. What makes it difficult to control is the fact that um, the AI is brutal. Um, they will crash into you and send you hurtling around. See, at least Trials of the Blood Dragon is still Trials in a sense. Like, I, I get that the, the, the shooty bits aren't, and there's very much stuff that isn't normal Trials, like at least normal Trials. I don't want to say realism to it, but something bordering on realism, and Blood Dragon is just like a a 90s fever dream. Um, but, so like, this is just incompetent. Um, there's, so the big problem with this game that really makes it terrible, um, the worst part of this game really is the rubber band AI. So, what is Rubber Band AI, if you've forgotten? Um, anybody who's played Mario Kart growing up, you know how that, if you're in first place, it seems like the enemy is always able to catch back up to you. Part of that, of course, is the power-up system is kind of rubber banded, but um, the big thing is, is that the everybody behind you gets faster, and you're ahead of them a little bit. Um, the thing is, is that this game does it 
but worse. What do they do? So, this game... Um, rubber bands them when they're at least in first place, too. I have had a boat that should be mopping the floor with opponents, and instead what happens is, is that they just thrash me. Um, by the way, that first place is in a race that doesn't count for qualifying. This is just me doing the next step of the trying to get good, which is I need to grind money to upgrade my boat. Um, so I've been in a decent position, you know, I'll be in first with a, a five second lead and then I can see them inching closer every checkpoint and it's really quick. And then they'll pass me by at least 10 to 15 miles an hour. Um, the best example I can give of how bad it got at one point was when level one, the first night I was streaming the game, um, we had a race, oh. dang it, um, so yeah, level one race. Um, and we're going for, you know, just a, a simple let's win a race. You know, I'm trying to get better at the game. And first or second time I finish the course, I lose by 0, 0.0 seconds. It was a virtual tie. And I lost. Hilarious. Terribly funny for everybody watching that night. But after that, I pers and that was like, it wasn't a great run of the race. Um, so I was like, okay, I can get better, you know, I'll just improve. Um, and I did. Uh, over the next, let's say, dozen runs of the level, I shaved 15 plus seconds off my time. But instead of actually winning the race, I continued to lose every time while cutting that th those seconds off. So, and it got worse. Like, the next one I lost by three seconds, then I lost by four, then by six. And we're talking that my time continued to drop by like 15 seconds total. But I was still losing consistently and by more. So, and that's kind of been the issue since always. Um, it's just not much you can do. Honestly. Um, and the big problem is, is that as we've increased the speed because obviously higher levels means higher speeds. Um, we've been having the issue where we can't ride behind the enemy boats. Because what happens is that the opponent boats at these higher speeds, um, the wake behind them becomes kind of like a ramp. And not a good fun ramp to take a jump, but instead a bad ramp that causes me to do a a somersault or a flip and crash. So we can't ride behind the enemies anymore. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, that race that I kept losing, um, to finish one run of it was pretty close to 12 minutes to start. Um, and since then, and we're talking like the third race of the game. Not even like uh, far into the game. We're only on like the third at that point. And um, the races get shorter. 
because what happens is, is that that race that was like three laps on some forever circuit that was 12 minutes at level one, when you came back to it at level three, you had a better boat. With a better boat, you were able to go much faster and thus complete it in two minutes less time. I, I don't play a ton of racing games, but usually racing game races get longer. The further in you get. Though so it's been quite humorous, the lack of any sense of game progression design. Um, obviously, this is pretty much a Unity asset flip, if I'm being generous. Like, it might not be Unity, but, like, you get what I mean, it's... I wouldn't call any of what's in this game design. So... So you might be asking, why do you own this game? Well, I'm a sucker. Um, I bought it on sale. And when it came up in the competition, I said, I looked at the time estimate and said, you know, it put the time estimate according to the members, some members on TA that it was a 12 to 15 hour game. Come to find out because I happen to be friends with somebody who beat the game. It tells me they spent four, over 40 hours beating the game. And... The thing that makes me put more stock into that response is the fact that they're actually good at racing games. So when my friend who is good at racing games says it took a lot longer than 15 hours and was more like 40, I go, damn. We had figured out some things, thought we had figured out how to win races more consistently. It wasn't the case. <laughs> we have not figured out anything about this game to do better. <laughs> We're still bad. We still feel bad. And yet we try to win. But... The tip was, that I got was I needed to grind money, and the best place to grind money was this race. By the way, if you don't want to play my, this one, if you don't want to play Speedboat Challenge, but would still like something by the developer of this game. They also were the mastermind behind Mining Rail and Mining Rail 2. I cannot speak to the quality or lack thereof of these other two games. All I can say is I know they exist, and I know they were developed by the same person. Or group of people. Although, can you imagine if this was a group of people? I would hope a group of people did better work than this.
best thing I can hope for on this as I try to grind out money is that they all crash. That's all I can really hope for because it'll make my wins that much more likely. Wins give me more money to hopefully upgrade quicker. So far so good in that we haven't flipped. I'm glad we gave ourselves a break. I feel like I'm a little refreshed for this game tonight. I still don't like it, but like I feel like I'm more prepared mentally for this one today because I've made progress on scoring some points for Crab. So, don't need that pet, so we will not switch to Jeb's. That's the only part about this course. Like that inner water there, I don't know a consistent way to get through without like... I know there are lanes through it that don't have like a beach, a uh, shallow end, but I don't hit it consistently. <laughs> and then parts like that happen. I mean, as long as I finish the race each time and get some money out of it, good. But. Obviously, it'd be quicker if I was coming in first every time. Something happened to Team Aston. I'm in the lead, and it looks like I'm going to win. Awesome. Team Acid got messed up. Nice. We won again. We've got just enough for an upgrade right now, but... Let's bump it, you know what? We'll do an upgrade and then we'll bump it down to that level. One upgrade's not going to be enough to win. I know that much, but it gets me closer. I need at least an upgrade or maybe a whole set of upgrades. Get all the 5,000 coin upgrades. I feel like maybe to have a chance. Ross's favorite song. The game. I think there's only two songs, really. I thought there was one, but then I realized that there is a different one.
Oh, that's right. I'm playing this on level 5. I should be crushing these boats. I know that won't happen because it's speedboat challenge, but... Theoretically, I should be much better than that. has been fun those doing these night streams even if they're not always like super long I'll try to maintain this going forward even if you know, it won't be crap necessarily, but... If I can maintain some of these, like, going for something streams. for something streams. It's another thousand, I think. I mean, as we said, this is my record, like, 155 races done, and I've only won 35 of them. <laughs> Want to know how the game cheats? No difficulty options, no way to make it easier or more likely for yourself to win. I'm considering buying the, uh, the Elgato stream deck, though. I think I'd like it for an additional to add to the streams. Um, and since I'm home and not commuting, um, without the commute costs, it's a little less of a like a splurge, it's more of a, instead of commute cost, we can buy that. <laughs> so, it's a nice little gift to myself during this, possibly. I am saving money elsewhere, but the commute costs alone kind of give me enough to acquire that without worrying too much financially. some upgrades to the, uh, the setup would be nice.
Okay, so you're not doing Resident Evil tomorrow then. Is what I'm hearing. You're hoping, you're hoping to still, okay. Just trying to figure out, you know, when I may or will stream tomorrow, so I don't want to completely, like, block you out if you're going to try to still. But we'll save that for tomorrow. Yeah, um, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, whatever works. Maybe I should try to actually wake up at a decent hour tomorrow. <laughs> My sleep schedule is so off. Try to wake up, start stream early, and just go from there. That'll be a good idea. We've gotten an upgrade tonight. That's something. Keep winning like this, which I know I can. Eventually, I get screwed. But if I can keep winning like this, we can really make a dent in actual game. <laughs> Mayhem, like them. By the way, Tom, you still here? Everything all set for you for Monday? Get your stuff in the mail? Erm? Erm is not a good sign. What happened? Are we going, is this a stuff did not arrive or a you're not able to start on Monday now or what? Like that's, Erm is not a good word.
What? Well, you, you having your stuff is a good thing. I'll at least say that much. Like it doesn't work, or you can't start. Makes sense. I mean, I would think that wouldn't be a difficult thing just because, like, but if they didn't set up your hardware to, okay, you don't have to say more. I kind of get in general. that means, so don't feel the need to elaborate, especially if you can. get straightened out soon for you. Oh, and Tom, just so you know, uh, Tuesday, um, if you were planning to show up to any of the streams during the week coming up, uh, there will be extra gem streams, so warning to you, because I know you're usually up the hours I usually stream, that kind of stuff. So, friendly warning. You know how it is. I'll, I'll, I'll put up the, the title as, like, something. So even if you get the notification, it'll be like, ignore me, don't watch. <laughs> playing garbage. Actually, if I wrote that, I might be playing this game. Ha! Huh. And hopefully when the crab, you know, when I hit the, the number for crab, I can jump onto some other stuff, try some different games. I must say, we did find a couple that were really fun, and we enjoyed some time. Uh, the Arkham City streams were a lot of fun. Um, Shantae over the last few days was great. Runbow was amazing. And I'm glad we played that and completed it. So. Now, this game, I'm not grateful. Getting to play some of the other games and kind of mixing stuff in instead of focusing on this one so much has really helped, I think, from a mental perspective. I think if I was still focusing on this one as much as I did last week, um, I, might, 
might be done this one, but I might hate the challenge. Instead, we played less of this, and we started to mix it up some, and we got some really good games in there, and enjoyed ourselves. And Bean Dive Recovery is going great. Um, as I was saying earlier with Paul, we're under 300 achievements for recovery now. Um, and only about a few weeks ago, we were up over 400. So we've really cut down on the, the number. Um, I think there's a decent chance that April could be like, if I keep up a decent pace for playing games and doing stuff, it could be like a, one of my best months ever in terms of achievement hunting. So, we'll see how it proceeds, but at present, that is kind of a thought I'm having about this. I mean, I can't say it's all me. Like, I have to thank people who assist, you know. Um, one of the completions we had this month so far was Farm Together. Um, friend had been working on his uh, Farm Together farm and was able to invite me onto his when he did the last expansion for his farm. And he had already gotten the achievement, had actually completed the game. And the fact that he invited me was, you know, or had been playing the game, like, he was doing it because he enjoyed the game, but the fact that he invited me to join in and to be there for the last uh, expansion was so helpful, because I don't know if I would have gone back to be in that game by myself. Um, getting all the farm expansions was a lot. And, I mean, people who watch my streams regularly know how much, uh, that day I was not a happy camper. <laughs> that was probably one of the... I don't get angry much, but that day was a quiet anger day. And, unfortunately, it was it came during a co-stream between Joe and I. And quiet anger is scary, so... I'm not the Ellie type. I was annoyed, but... I became very quiet for a very long time that day. So I'm glad it's done. Um, is Farm Together a good game? Yes. If you've got a chance, you want to play something like that, good. Um, but, you know, I know what I did wrong, I think. Or I have a theory as to why the achievement didn't unlock that day. So based on that theory, I can say, you know, not the game's fault, so we're, it, uh, yes, it's the game's fault, but, like, I'm not gonna dock it, like, oh, the game is a, is, is a 1 out of 10 for that. You know, it, it's not that. But if you enjoy, like, a farming sim type game, like, Stardew, or... of those types. It's not a bad game. It's fun. I got addicted to it for a while.
But now that it's done, I guess I could add another long idle type game or managing type game like that. I don't know. This is where I hear that I'm supposed to play the new Animal Crossing. I mean, I've heard good things about it, but never been a series I got into. Pay attention the whole time. I'm not offended by that. I am realizing that if I want to build a nighttime audience, I might have to stream more popular games, though. Beyond just, you know. regular friends. Which I'm not a thing. I don't appreciate all of my friends who watch during these late hours. Couldn't be further from the truth. issue for this race is I, I fall behind and then I can't catch back up. Because as soon as I fall behind the boats through the tunnel the first time, that first place boat is always too far ahead. necessarily, but I feel like I need to try it again. get ahead of the pack. Can I get them to mess up? Well, I can get ahead of the pack with this speed.
not totally too difficult right now, as long as I stay ahead of the pack. Obviously, that's a big ass amount. But it's working so far. Better than it had been. really well until the ending there. so disappointed to learn that I went back to my strategy, not the equal part strategy. Sorry. I've had more luck with mine. Not sure if it's good, but it might be a little better. I'm not entirely sure, though. Trying to do a mix of the strategies though.
coming soon though for tonight. Coming up on two and a half hours after we did Thief for about five hours today. I didn't realize how long we'd actually been playing Thief until after I uploaded the VOD. We started uploading the VOD, it was just like, oh yeah. We put a lot of effort into Thief today to get that achievement. that sometime in the morning. I'm going to try to wake up at a decent hour so I can start that. Then uh, we'll probably go transition from there into some more crab streaming. So that's roughly the plan for tomorrow. Okay. I think that's the perfect note to end on. <laughs> that was, you know, typical speedboat challenge, right? Um, so we got an upgrade. We've got almost enough gold for our next upgrade. Uh, we'll keep working at it. I'm not, I'm not going to give up on this game. I do want to finish it. Um, but we need two more points for Crab Challenge to be complete for the badge. And we'll have to keep going more than that for, you know, just for fun. We'll play some of the other games, I think. So, because we've got about two, two, two or three weeks left to get the, the 15. So, plenty of time. Um, but thanks, everybody, for joining me for this late night stream. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Good night.